What is up today? I am going to show you how to make some unique hi-hat patterns inside of Bitwig Studio using the arpeggiator and drum machine. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple examples. It's, uh, you probably know this technique already, but you know, maybe I, uh, open up your eyes on a different part of the technique because we've probably a lot of people have probably seen this technique using the arpeggiator with hi-hats but i kind of been using it in a different way but anyways let's get right into the video if you like the video like it subscribe if you want to it's free <laughs> helps out the channel and uh yeah comment below telling me if you already knew about this or if i helped you figure out something new but anyways, let's get right into it. Name's Nick, and we are about to begin right now. Let's go. Bitwig open up. I have a couple examples, and yeah. So, um, I have a drum machine with some hi-hats. I just randomly pick some hi-hats, and I put them in here. Just, <laughs> they're open, closed, whatever. I just put them in here. And, uh... What I did was I got them on a MIDI. Let's do the drum machine one. And I stretched them out to four bars. And you can see that the velocity is ch changed up and down in between them. What I actually did was I did not actually go in here and change the velocity like one by one. I actually went over here to uh, velocity and click this. And I was messing with the uh, spread. Spread's 100% and then the mean I was messing with this until there was a certain point where I liked the sound to be. So I, it was really quick. I do this a lot. And I also did it with the pan. The pan won't be to the left or right. It's spread and it's random. So every time it hits, it the same hi-hat sound will sometimes be on the left and the, or sometimes be on the right. It just depends on when it hits and if it's in i guess it's like an algorithm i don't know computer science stuff whatever but anyways i'll play it without the arpeggiator and also it is set to flow so let's uh turn this down and it's automated <laughs> i gotta show you why i automated it but this is without the arpeggiator it's really quick just plays all of them all at once that's it so if I turn on the arpeggiator, it does this like rhythmic pattern with the hi-hats and it's just arpeggiating and it's at 1 16th. And the reason I automated this uh, pattern right here, that's what this button's called, pattern. Uh, the reason I did that is because I didn't want it to be one thing across the board. I wanted it to be random. I wanted to switch up the pattern while it was playing. So that's why that is automated <laughs> pretty much. Because if I just loop this part right here, the very first part. It's going to be completely different because I changed the pattern on this part right here. It's just going to be different every time. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I just messed with it. It's really easy. You can go in here and it tells you what uh, pattern you want to pick. You can pick chords, up, down. Um, you can pick blossom, low, up, high, and up, high, and down. Whatever you want. That's one way you can do it. I really like it. And it's really cool that you can go in here and you can uh, mess with the pan. So it's everywhere instead of just like in the middle. And it gives a, a stereo imaging but anyways, let's move on. So that's one way you can do it. You can throw a bunch of drums into the drum machine. The other way I did it was I actually, here's my original sample, hi-hat sample I used for this example. I'll play it for you. It's a cashmere 100 BPM hi-hat loop. So what I did was I uh, right clicked and then I sliced it to drum machine. And I just left it at 1 8, 128 slices. I said OK. Um, you'll see it's right here at the bottom. Drum machine in the gray. And I click this. What I did was I got all of these to be at the very first. You just copied them. Put them in order. At the very beginning. Just like that. I deleted the rest. You don't need the rest because you're going to drag them out. 
And uh, there's a really cool dragging method I found out on Bitwig that I didn't know you could do. Did you know you could just go over here to length and uh, go up and it'll slide them all over at once? I did not know that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but I figured that out like a week ago. Anyways, yeah. And then all I did was I put the arpeggiator on. Right here, I set it to random. Or you can set it to how I set it right here where I messed with the automation. And I just, I pressed play. And it's just, it's real quiet. But it's just all random hi-hats with that loop. And then we can even do the pan thing. We can make the turn up the chaos, turn it down, and it'll be a, it'll just be everywhere. So that's one way you could do. It. You can take a loop, a slice of drum machine, and then uh, arpeggiate like that. You can turn it down. I don't think it sounds too good, like one eight or one fourth, one eight, one thirty two. It just keeps going on. But yeah, uh, that's one way to do it. And I, every time I did it to random, I got different uh, results. I just bounced it down a bunch. The only one, I actually got one that was similar to another one. It's these two right here. And I'll play those for you. They're kind of similar. I, I bounced it down like five times and then I kept the best ones. So it's this first one was pretty good. I like that one. And then these are two, two of these are similar. Instead of like that first crash, it brings in two crashes. Well, open hi-hats, not crashes. And then this one just had the first one. And that was, that was, it was really similar, but it's still different because it's uh, hitting a different, like the, the velocity is different on these. This one, you can tell it's hitting harder on those two, and then down here it's hitting less. So that was all random. I rendered it out. It sounded really good. It's like doing it like this. You just get the most wild patterns ever, and the, it's just cool. So yeah, I did that, uh, we'll mute that, and I also did it with a bass loop, and the, <laughs> the bass loop was dumb. <laughs> so what happened was I just got, uh, this bass loop, and I brought it into, uh, in here, and then I did the same thing. I sliced it to a drum machine, I did what I just showed you with the hi-hats, added an arpeggiator, I'll let you listen to this drum loop, or the bass loop. So it sounds really, really cool. That reminds me of like Tekken 4 or something. I don't know why. Like I feel like there's a song in Tekken 4 for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why I'm that... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I don't know why. It just sounds like Tekken 4. But um, yeah, I rendered it down and then I got, I got this. I got this right here. And that's all random. And then when I uh, put them together, it's actually, I like this one. I don't want to do that one. I'll mute that one. And I'll add the drums. And it sounds like this all together. It sounds pretty cool. <laughs> it sounds good. All that was just random using the arpeggiator on all of it, pretty much. The hi-hats, except the drums. I didn't arpeggiate the drums or randomize that. It was just a hi-hat in the bass loop. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, leave me a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Stay notified on these videos. Um, yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, did this, like, give you ideas? Did this not give you ideas? Did you already know this? Yeah, there's probably, like, a billion tutorials on YouTube, and this has probably been done already, but... I guess I felt like I did it a different way, and I just wanted to show you. <laughs> That's it. But um, music coming soon. Again, more videos, like always. I just love making Bitwig videos. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Bye.